let's talk about software standards. Software standards play a very important role in the software quality management. As part of the quality assurance process, tools and methods to support the use of software standards may also be chosen. Once standards have been selected for use, project-specific processes have to be defined in order to monitor the use of these standards and to check that standards have been followed. Software standards are important for three reasons. These reasons are listed on the left-hand side of the slide. Standards capture wisdom that is of value to the organization. They are based on knowledge about the best or the most appropriate practice for the company. The knowledge is often only acquired after a great deal of trial and error. Building it into a standard helps the company reuse this experience and avoid making mistakes made previously. Second, standards provide a framework for defining what quality means in a particular setting. Software quality is subjective and by using standards, you establish a basis for deciding if a required level of quality has been achieved. Of course, this, this depends on setting standards that reflect user expectations for software dependability, usability, and performance. Thirdly, standards assist continuity when work carried out by one person is taken up and continued by another. Standards ensure that all engineers within an organization adopt the same practices. Consequently, the learning effort required when starting new work is greatly reduced. There are two related types of software engineering standards that may be defined and used in software quality management. They are listed on the right hand side of the slide. Product standards. These apply to software products being developed. They include document standards, such as the structure of requirements documents, the documentation standards, such as a standard comment header for an object class definition, coding standards, which define how a programming language should be used. Secondly, process standards. These define the processes that should be followed during software development. They should encapsulate good development practice and process standards may include definition of specification, design, validation process, process support tools, description of the documents that should be written during the processes. Product standards have to be designed so that they can be applied and checked in a cost effective way. And process standards should include the definition of processes that check that product standards have been followed. Quality management teams that are developing standards for a company should normally base these company standards on national and international standards. Using international standards as a starting point, the quality assurance team should draw up a standards handbook. This should define the standards that are needed by your organization. Examples of standards for both product and process are defined here. To minimize dissatisfaction and to encourage buy-in to standards, quality managers who set the standards should take the following steps. First, involve software engineers in the selection of product standards. If developers understand why standards have been selected, they are more likely to be committed to these standards. Ideally, the standards document should not just set out the standard to be followed, but also should include commentary explaining why standardization decisions have been made. Second, re review and modify standards regularly to reflect changing technologies. Standards are expensive to develop, and they tend to be enshrined in a company standards handbook. Because of the cost and discussion required, there is often a reluctance to change them. A standards handbook is essential, but it should evolve to reflect changing circumstances and technology. Third, provide software tools to support standards. 
developers often find standards to be a bugbear when conformance to them involves tedious manual work that could be done by a software tool. If tool support is available, very little effort is required to follow the software development standard. For example, document standards can be implemented using word processor stylers. Each project manager should have the authority to modify process standards according to individual circumstances. However, when changes are made, it is important to ensure that these changes do not lead to the loss of product quality. This will in turn affect an organization's relationship with its customers and will probably lead to increased project costs. The project manager and the quality manager can avoid the problems of inappropriate standards by careful quality planning in the project. They should decide which of the organizational standards should be used without change, which should be modified, and which should be ignored. New standards may have to be created in response to customer or project requirements. There is an international set of standards that can be used in the development of quality management systems in all industries. And this international set is called ISO 9000. ISO 9000 standards can be applied to a range of organizations from manufacturing through service industries. ISO 9001, the most general of these standards, applies to organizations that design, develop, and maintain products, including software. To be conformant with ISO 9001, a company must have the defined types of processes as shown in the slide. They should have processes in place that demonstrate that its quality processes are being followed. This allows flexibility across industrial sectors and company sizes. Quality standards can be defined that are appropriate for the type of software being developed. Some companies have very rigid quality processes that keep detailed records, whereas others may have a much less formal with minimal additional documentation. Please take a look at the different standards that are referred to by ISO 9001, which are displayed on the slide here. The relationships between ISO 9001, the organizational quality manuals, and individual project quality plans are shown on this figure. Some software customers de demand that their suppliers should be ISO 9001 certified. The customers can then be confident that the software development company has an approved quality management system in place. Let's take a look at this diagram. These are the ISO 9001 quality models, and they are instantiated as part of the organization's quality manual. The quality manual is then used to develop quality plans for a variety of projects developed by that organization. The quality manual also documents the organization's quality process. The quality process is further instantiated as the quality management. So you can see all of these projects quality plan supports project quality management as well. This is how ISO 9001 quality mod models, which are an international set of standards, is adopted by any organization. And ultimately, these models or quality standards are applied to every project that has been developed by the organization.